Hey, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, it's been far too long, um, but lots of you have been asking about uh, updates about the engine, which as you can see is running nicely now. Um, basically, I've done a lot of fits over, to it over the summer. Um, it's been through its permit inspection. Um, basically, it's, it's running great now. Um, so previously, the engine was running rough, and took a long time to start, there were lots of little niggly issues to the point where it need, something needed to be fixed. Um, I didn't really know what, so I ordered some carb rebuild kits, um, which was really for my peace of mind anyway, because I'd never taken my carbs apart, I'd never really seen the inside of carbs, especially not these ones. I didn't really know what was going on inside the carbs itself. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of it, most of the, the parts all looked absolutely great. Um, the float needles were, or the float valve, uh, they were uh, a little worn, um, but I don't think they were letting fuel through early. So the main problem from the last video was the uh, leaky primer, which I've removed, I had to remove it anyway because it was leaking at, at the firewall where it goes through the firewall to the carbs. Um, it was leaking there so I had to, had to rip it out anyway which I did. Um, once that was done it seemed to make a world of difference. It wasn't running rough anymore uh, but it wasn't wasn't great, it wasn't as good as it could be so that's when I ordered the carb rebuild kits um, from Aircraft Spruce um, or LAS in the UK. Uh, I'll link to both uh, below to see if you've got the same problem you can go and get the carb rebuild kits and uh, basically fix them up. Um, so, put the carbs off. Yeah, I basically took them all apart, used a whole load of carb cleaner, cleaned them all out, um, used a, a, a brush just to get rid of any, any grime that was on the outside. So I cleaned them all up, put the I uh, used the new parts from the carb rebuild kit and put them back on. Whilst doing that, I decided to replace the rubber fuel lines. So I've replaced the fuel line from the main tank, which is behind the panel in this plane. Um, one wing tank up there, which I haven't done these rubbers yet, um, which run to the main tank, but I've, I've done the main tank to the carbs, well, via the gas collator to the carbs. Yeah, and that, and that seems to have made a big difference. Um, at the same time, I replaced the fuel pump. And so I discovered that the pulse line, which comes from the engine to the fuel pump, which drives it, was ridiculously loose where it was connected to the engine. So I'm pretty sure that the old fuel pump wasn't really working or wasn't working well anyway. And I wonder if it was just the gravity feed that was allowing the fuel to be sucked through from the carburetors. Um, I don't really know what I'm talking about, so big disclaimer here. Um, but anyway, so with the fuel lines replaced, the fuel pump replaced, the carbs rebuilt, I refitted everything, started it up. It took a long time to start that first time because there was obviously not a lot of fuel in the lines. It had to refill the carb bowls. But once it got going, it was absolutely sweet. I, I've never heard this engine run so nice. Um, I mean, it, it was great. It ran really well. The other slight problem I had, which may have been having, happening before, was that my choke or enricher circuit seemed to get stuck open. Now, I don't think it was stuck open previously, but 
that would have caused a rich running engine and uh, I, I did briefly have that until I uh, adjusted the lengths of the, the cables that go to the choke um, or a richer valve. Um, so anyway, lots of things done. Um, as a side note, whilst I was doing the rubbers for the fuel lines, I decided to do the rubbers for the uh, water coolant as well. Um, so all the rubbers in the in Firewall Forward have been replaced. Um, I thought, I figured whilst I was at it. But anyway, the engine's running really smooth. It starts really quick now. Um, so this summer, I've just been flying around, doing local flights. I haven't recorded many of them. Um, I will get something out, uh, probably from the summer. Um, we'll see. But I've really just been quite hard pressed for time. Um, yeah, and I had enough time for videos, so sorry about that. But hopefully that updates you about the engine. Uh, lots of you have been asking about that um, in the YouTube comments and on and on Instagram. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's a nice little update for you. Thought I'd go for a little flight this evening. Just update you all, really. Um, yeah, thanks for following along. Um, if you like any of my videos, um, this one or previous ones, please do like and subscribe because it really does help me grow the channel, uh, get more subscribers, YouTube puts me in front of more people. Um, really, yeah, just like and subscribe please. Um, the sun is low today so it's going to be interesting going into the runway 24. Um, Let's see what the wind is doing. So, yeah, still favouring 2-4. So let's head back now. So if you haven't seen the, the video about my rough running engine, I'll link it up here somewhere and down in the comments. Uh, so down in the description. Um, yeah, go and check it out if you're uh, wondering what the hell I was talking about a minute ago. Um, but yeah, this Spirit 2 runs really nicely now. Um, I I've got a slight vibration on the prop, so that's one of my next tasks. Um, just need to... I mean, it, it, it's alright, it's smooth, but there was just a, a, a vibration going on. It probably doesn't show in the videos. Um, but yeah, we will uh, try and fix that on another one. Perhaps I'll try and film that one whilst I actually try and sort out the vibration, try and do some balancing. Um, yeah, let me know what you what you want, if you want to see that or got any suggestions for me. I think I'd really like to take the pop off and do like just a, a static balance where you, you hang the prop in some way, allow it to freely spin, and you, the, the heaviest part will settle at the bottom and then you know that you can either take some weight off of that side or add some weight to the other side. The free blade prop on this, so it'd probably make it a bit harder maybe. I, I don't really know. Um, it'll be a first for me doing that, so we'll get that balanced. Um, I'd love to do, I'd love to get it dynamically balanced, but I think that's going to be quite expensive. Oh, it's getting a bit cold tonight. Let's get my hoodie on, which is right here. But I don't fancy uh, putting my hoodie on whilst flying.
So let me know if you've got any questions on the engine issues, but basically they're all fixed now. Um, it's, it runs really smooth. Just need to fix that, fix that little prop vibration um, and we'll be away. But anyway, more flights coming up soon, I promise. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.